Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunmus Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunmus Fishing Tips. December is upon us. Here we are. And I'm out here with Bill. I'm in Bill's boat today. And uh, thanks for taking me out, Bill. Today, folks, I'm going to run... I'm going to use the pre-tied T-turn bait rig. Uh, I believe it's number 20R. And this is a pre-tied rig, which is great for drifting or trolling. And today we're going to drift. And the rig comes with a T-turn, which is great because that three-way swivel in this river system is going to keep me tangle free. And then it comes pre-tied with fluorocarbon line, goes down to a sinker snap. All I did was snap on a sinker. Then there's another longer line that comes out to a, a regular snap. I snapped on a minnow imitating bait. And that's as simple as it. That's the rig. So just like that, we're out and we're fishing. We're rigged up quickly. We're going to get it right down there. I've got a two ounce sinker on there that I'm just going to uh, bounce along the bottom as we drift along here in the river. And that's going to be the key as well. You want your sinker to be just touching that bottom into the strike zone. Now, in December, it's a great time of year to fish. Brown trout, lake trout, steelhead. The season's open for everything, so it's a, it's a phenomenal time to be out on the water, and the bite is typically a good bite in December. So uh, typically, now this, this rig, like I said, you could troll or you could drift. We're gonna drift, it's a great drift rig. And again, keeping that bait in the strike zone, close to the bottom, that's the key. If your sinker is too light and you don't feel the bottom, just heavy up on the sinker or vice versa if it's too heavy and you're really dragging bottom then you just lighten up on the sinker you want to tickle the bottom that's what you want to do and that's what I'm doing right now stay tuned folks hopefully we'll get into a fish or two you gotta love that when you get a fish and a hit on your very first drift I love it now he doesn't feel huge but he gave me a nice bite came out of 18 feet of water and he just nailed that bait. Boy, do I love this. Fishing in the winter. Loving it. <laughs> I don't know what I got, but he's shaking, rattling, rolling down there. I'm hoping it's a nice steelhead or a brown. We shall see. You see him, Bill? Bring it in. I can't. He's, he's right here, I think. There's my T-turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, is, it a, is, it, is it a laker? Looks like a laker. Looks like a lake trout. That's okay. He had a little bit of silver there for a minute, Bill. I yeah. thought, thought it might have been a, a steelhead, but it's a laker. Ah, oh, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my. He inhaled that bait. Look at Where's my bait? No, he just he just coughed it. He just coughed it. Uh, if you grab me a needle nose bill, I'll get him right off. We'll get a quick look at this fish. You mind snapping the photo for me? If he'll stop flopping around, he's still really green, like really green. Uh, I might have to. Wait a minute. There he goes. He's finally stopped flopping. <laughs> you gotta love. Him. Gotta love those lakers. Okay, yeah, if you don't mind, maybe a quick photo. A quick photo for Facebook and Instagram. We're gonna let this fish go. There we go, Bill. Beauty, thank you. Gorgeous fish, eh? Not a huge one, but a nice fish. Okay, we're gonna get him right back in the water again. Let's get him down there. Goodbye, Mr. Lake Trout. What's that tell you on your first drift? <laughs> The, the drift rig has struck again. Oh, another drift, another fish. Unbelievable. Normally I'm using these rigs drifting for fluke in salt water with a viper spoon. But hey, you could run these rigs with any bait you want. And right now, I'm liking what I'm doing. <laughs> this is good fishing. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. Just touching the bottom with that sinker, letting my lure work right down in the strike zone. And that's where these fish are holding. 
out of the current, staying in the strike zone. And he gave me a nice bite. Really, really, really nice hit. My rod just loaded right up. I don't know if you saw that or not, Bill, but the rod just went, he just went thump and the rod just went woof. <laughs> I, I love it. Oh, it's another lake trout. Oh, look how long it is. That's a beauty. Wow. That's a beautiful, beautiful lake trout, isn't it? Nice fish. Now, how are we gonna get them off? You got some pliers handy? Oh, that's a gorgeous fish. Take a look at that. He's just a just a nice fish. Just a nice healthy fish. Alright, I'm just gonna keep him in the water until oh you got the uh the grippers. How about I'll let you do the honors? Bill's got good hook removing experience. Are you trying to say I need all the fish? <laughs> you catch a lot of fish so you know how to remove the hooks. It just calms down. Well you know what? If I grab his tail. How many guys does it take to take a hook out of a fish's mouth out of a lake trout? That was a nice burp. It wasn't me, folks. That was not me. One. There we go. I know that Lou's got two hooks. Nice fish. Beautiful lake trout. We can let him go. Okay. I was just going to let him go, but okay. We'll take another quick look at him. And we'll let that fish go. Nice, long, healthy lake trout. Beautiful fish. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you later, Mr. Laker. <laughs> you know what, folks? The month of December. You got to love fishing for trout in the month of December. And you never know what you're going to get. Lake trout, rainbow, brown. They're all out here. What a great time to be out on the water before you're out on the ice. If you get an opportunity, December fishing, give it a try. I want to thank you, wherever you're tuning in from today, for joining me on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck. Good fishing. That was great. Love it.